guys, if you're looking for Madden Ultimate Team coins at some of the cheapest prices on the market, make sure you check out my new sponsor, utnfl.com, and use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 5% discount. Hey, what is up, guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team video. And guys, today what we're going to be doing is taking a look at the rarity of the Easter eggs that are in Madden 17 right now. Um, guys, this is part of the spring promo that they're doing, of course. The Easter egg hunt is on, and everybody is excited to see what's going to be inside their Easter eggs here in the coming days. So what I wanted to do, guys, is actually provide some information that I came across uh, and this was a poll that was put together, and unfortunately, I don't know who the creator of the poll was, so I apologize. If you guys know, you can, of course, leave a link to him in the description, or in the, the comment section, and I will add it to the description if I find it, um, to the person, whether it's his Twitter account or whatever. But uh, he actually put together a strawpoll.me for the Easter eggs. And basically what you're able to do through that is you're able to see the rarity of each of the eggs that are coming out. Uh, so what I wanted to do, guys, is kind of provide that information in an easy to find and more digestible format so that you guys can easily see it. What I'm going to do is actually put them by date and then also by category. So whether they're silver, gold, or elite, depending on the day. So it's going to all be in very simple order. So if you want to see the ones that are on uh, 412, then obviously that's going to be at the beginning and 416 is going to be near the end. So you can skip through and, you know, find what you're looking for, guys. Uh, but overall... This video is going to tell you, generally speaking, the rarity of each of these Easter egg gifts. So uh, with that said, let's get into it because I do want to make sure that I'm not spending a ton of time on the intro. But uh, here we go, guys. The first one is going to be uh, just the silver egg and that is going to be on 412. Now, the silver eggs are ones that are most common for the most part, okay? These are about 7% uh, of all people that pulled eggs pulled one of these silver eggs on 412 okay so again of all the people that actually took this poll about seven percent of them have this egg now you can see obviously that we don't have the same type of discrepancy on these eggs as we did on the christmas presents uh there seems to be a lot bigger variance on those christmas presents than there were in these so all of the eggs are going to fall within about seven percent to about one percent so again, it's the amount of people that took it, 7% of them. So out of all the people that took it, it was a couple hundred people that took this poll, 7% of them have this gift. So when you see that percentage number, that's going to kind of tell you exactly what's going on with that. So let's move on and let's talk about the gold ones for 412. So on 412, we have again, two golds. And again, it's going to be one silver, two golds and two elites each day. The first one that you see there on the left is the gold gold egg, <laughs> kind of repetitive, but whatever. Uh, and that one's fairly common at about 5% of all the people that pulled eggs. They have this, they pulled this one. Um, and then the one on the right there, the gold, red, and blue one, that's about 4% of all the eggs that were pulled. Uh, four, you know, 4% 4 of the people have that one. So um, again, not super uncommon, but you know, decent decent rarity on these ones and then we've got the elite ones and the elites as you might as imagine are obviously the most rare of the bunch um now the one on the left there that is a very rare easter egg that one is the blue and red again on 412 so that's one that you're going to want if you've got that one it's probably going to contain something decent the one on the right there is it's uncommon but it's not among the most uncommon, I guess, if that makes sense. So uh, it's the black and green one on 412. Not terribly rare, uh, but still elites should be pretty good, I think, for the most part. There are going to actually be some golds that are rarer than this one, but I still think overall you want the elites more than you want the golds just based on what we've seen in the past. And now we're going to move on to 413. So this is going to be April 13th. Another silver egg there, very common, uh, most common at 7%. So among the most common of all the eggs that were pulled is this one. Um, pretty much, again, all the silver ones are going to be very, very common. There aren't any that are particularly rare. There are a couple of them that aren't most common at 7%, a couple of them are 6%, but for the most part, the silvers are probably not going to be anything spectacular. And the other thing is that all of the silver eggs pretty much look the same, which is kind of interesting. So they might all contain the same thing as well. 
And then on 413 as well, we've got the two golds. We have the golden burgundy one, and that one is pretty common at a 5% pull rate. The other one there on the right, this is among the rarest of the gold gifts or the, the gold eggs, I should say. Um, and this these ones are only 3% of people that pulled eggs pulled this one. You can see there, I don't really have a great quality picture of it. I kind of had to uh, kind of smash it together. So it's not the best quality, but that one is going to be probably something decent. I would imagine uh, as far as the gold gifts go, or the, I keep calling them gifts and I apologize if I do. As far as the gold eggs go, this will probably be one of the better ones, I imagine, but it's still probably not going to be on the level of the elite. Elites. And uh, in, in terms of the elites, we actually have some decent ones uh, for 413. We have a very rare one there on the left, that purple and gold one. That one should be pretty solid at 2% of all eggs that were pulled is that one. Uh, and then the one on the right there, that one looks a lot like a signature pack to me. Um, I don't know for sure that that's exactly what it's going to be, but it looks pretty likely that that's probably going to be a signature pack. And that one is rare at 3%. Uh, so again, two good ones there on the elites for 413. On April 14th, we're going to have one that's a silver one that's a little bit less common. It's still common at 6%, but it's not quite as as common as the other ones that we've seen so far at 7%. But again, I still think these, these uh, silver eggs are pretty much going to be the same thing. Then we've got the golds, and we actually have a rare one here. Again, a gold and blue gold egg. That one is at 3%. And then on the right, we have the white and gold. This one looks like it's got the campus hero type of pattern on it. If you look really close, it's got the it's definitely got a jersey pattern on it. So I'm pretty sure that that's what that one is going to be, some sort of a campus hero something or other. Uh, but that one is uncommon at 4%. So again, probably something decent in both of these ones, but they are still gold, so we have to imagine that there's going to be better stuff in the elites. And then uh, among the elites for these ones, we actually have the most rare of all of the eggs. And we're going to spend a little bit more time on this one. I don't know what this one is going to be, but most rare, 1%, only 1% of all of the eggs that were pulled, uh, or of all people that opened eggs, only 1% have this egg. So that is very, very rare. Um, now, obviously, orange and black stripes that's kind of telling me that it might be Bengals. I don't know for sure by any means. I, I have no verification on that whatsoever. But if you look at those stripes, they're definitely Bengals colors. And uh, the Bengals definitely have uh, stripes as well on their uniforms. So that's going to be my guess. I'm assuming that this is going to be like some sort of maybe a Chad Ochocinco, maybe, a, maybe some sort of like Anthony Munoz. Uh, maybe we've got a new legend. Maybe there's like a, I don't know, I'm just throwing this out there. Maybe like a TJ Huchmizada or um, I don't know. It, it could be all kinds of different players. But, uh, you know, got Jeff Blake. No, probably not a Jeff Blake. Maybe a Boomer Esiason. And that would be I mean, a nice little interesting throwback. But, um, you know, again, you never really know what's going to be in these. It, it could not even be a player. It could be not Bengals related whatsoever. But 1% of all of the eggs or all of all of the people that pulled eggs. I keep mixing that up. But again, 1% of all of the people who pulled eggs have this one. And then on the right, we still have another very rare one at 3%. Um, that one is, it should be something decent as well. Um, it definitely has some elite colors, I would say, on it, like the red. Um, so my guess is that that's probably going to be something decent at least. Uh, but you never know. Again, it's really hard to speculate on these things. But uh, this should be one of, if not the best day for all of the eggs. So if you're still looking uh, at you know what you might get out of these, I would say this is probably going to be your best chance to pull really good stuff just based on the numbers. Moving on to 415, again, we're back at a silver one. Probably not going to be really anything spectacular, but it is 7% of all of the eggs that were pulled were this one. And then we've got the golds as well. Now, the golds in this day are going to be, you know, not anything amazing, I would say, but we do have a rare one there on the right, the gold and gray one. Looks like it should be pretty decent. Um, this one does have what looks like a, a veteran's patch on it or a veteran's logo. I'm not sure if it's 
for certainly going to be that or anything, but that could contain some nice value out of it, honestly. And again, the fact that it's rare tells me that it's probably something like that. It should be something pretty decent, I would say. There are actually elite eggs that are not as rare as this one. So again, I'm assuming that this one's going to be probably pretty good. The one on the left is pretty common, the gold, black, and yellow one at 5%, so probably not anything spectacular out of that one. And then we've got the two elites for that day. And the two elites, uh, again, Probably not the best day for these. We have a 3% there on the left, the purple, gold, and white. Those are, of course, Vikings colors. They're kind of Ravens colors, but not really. I would say it's definitely more along the lines of Vikings colors. So that could contain a legend. It could contain a, a player. It's hard to say. Uh, but definitely, uh, hey, how about a Brett Favre Vikings edition? Maybe something like that. That would be kind of cool. I don't know. Uh, but that could be something pretty cool on that one. And then on the uh, right there, we do have an uncommon one at 4%. So again, not even as rare as the gold in the slide before this. So, um, you know, again, probably not the best, but could be something decent. People are saying that this one could be an ultimate legend item. Uh, it does look like it has a U up there at the top on, behind the stripe, if you look at that. And it's kind of hard to tell, but uh, it could be some sort of ultimate legend item. It's really hard to say, but uh, that one, again, is uncommon at 4%. And then the last day, we do have another common silver gift there, or silver egg, I should say, uh, 416. This one is, again, just probably going to be right along the lines as all the rest of them. All the silver eggs look very, very common. So, uh, again, probably not going to be anything spectacular. Maybe we'll get some sort of, like, an elite or a, a silver badge, like a 10 badge pack or something like that. But uh, the golds today uh, on 416, or uh, I shouldn't say today, that day, are both pretty good. 3% rarity on both of them. Uh, that's probably the best batch of gold eggs that we have throughout the whole promo. So the gold, blue, and red, and also the gold and black eggs, both 3% rarity. Both should contain something decent, we're hoping. Uh, that one up there on the right, the gold and black one, a lot of people are saying that's an award winner's pack. Again, I don't have any verification on that, but I've seen a lot of people saying that. So, again, I wouldn't be surprised if that's what it is. But, uh, again, EA has been savages before, and it's made it look like it's something really good on, like, the Christmas gifts. And then we ended up getting completely destroyed with, like, some BS player that was worth, like, 4K. So, uh, again, don't get your hopes up too much, but it could be something decent there in that gold egg. Now, last but not least, we do have the elite badges for that final, or the elite badges, the elite eggs for that final day. The one on the right there, I really couldn't even find a good picture of it. Sly actually provided me um, what's essentially the source uh, picture for that file. So uh, I don't even have the card art on that one. It's kind of weird. But that one is very rare at 2% as well as the one on the right there, another one that is very rare. Both of these are among the more rare ones. And so that's basically telling us the final day is going to be pretty stacked. That could be the best overall day for the eggs so uh, there you have it, guys. That is the full list of eggs. We have all of them in this video. So if you have something else that's not in this video, make sure that you tweet it at me at ClickwoodTV or leave it in the comments section below. I'd be interested to see that. But uh, with that said, guys, let me know. What do you guys think is going to be in each of these eggs? I'm interested to know. Thanks again, guys, for all the support. And make sure that you check out that straw poll because that's where I got the data. So it could slightly shift from now to uh, yet to, to the actual days that it comes out because it might change depending on who is inputting it. But those are the rough numbers anyway. So I hope you guys learned something. If you did, make sure you drop a like and, of course, subscribe to the channel as well if you are new. And I will talk to you guys again soon.